climate change is one of the major problems the world is facing today. Malawi is one of the many countries facing this climate change crisis. In this documentary, we are going to look at how the climate change is affecting our country through floods and drought. Now this documentary is going to take both an inside view of the urban and rural areas to see how climate change has affected the areas over time. How is climate back then? Not only 10 years ago, but if you, even if you went back 15 years. It was easy for us to say, uh, by September, I should be preparing my gardens, and uh, by such a time, I'll be planting. How is climate change affecting people in Malawi? When malaria kills more people in Africa than AIDS. Because of climate change, we're going to be seeing huge impacts uh, of diseases and, and those changes in, in patterns of even the disease occurrence itself. If you are very clever, you plant with the first rains, then you might be lucky. Uh, these days, it doesn't matter whether you, you plant what we call the local maize or the, the much publicized, the publicized the hybrid maize. But when the first rains come, see, the, your maize is in the ground. <laughs> The population density is very much and uh, that is putting pressure on the resources that are available. One of the contributing factors is your charcoal burning. Due to lack of rain and high temperature, the river is drying up, yet people continue to pump water as it is almost depleted, revealing the roots of trees on its banks which shows how climate in Malawi is being affected. What will happen if we do not change? It, it will be terrible. You see, you will end up probably having deserts. We never know because the areas that we use have trees today. There are no trees and they can't grow. I mean, the indigenous trees can't grow. And there's nothing we, can, we are doing. So it will be like this, you see. What we're seeing here will be in, in the villages where we, we are actually doing farming. Small farmers, and they're going to have to change the way that they do farming. Less and less uh, maize, more um, possibly sorghum crops that can adapt to uh, increased heat uh, in the areas. How can we solve these problems? If I want this, I own this tree. It will be difficult for me to go and cut it down. You see, you see, there's the tenders of saying it doesn't belong to me, so I'll just come and cut down and do whatever I do. But if you make people own, you see, the the trees, you see, then it, it might help protect the the, the 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 vegetation that we have around. We have to plant trees, and that's one of our biggest problems in this country. There are more effective and efficient ways of doing charcoal burning, but nobody's really taken those up. We have a greater chance to change because we can. Best things we can do is have a sustainable development approach to whatever we do. We look at the policy issues, make sure the economic issues are there, the social issues are being taken care of, and the biophysical. Work together, the government should encourage the people to plant uh, more trees. Really, global warming and climate change is very serious and might seem impossible to solve. But then again, Rome was not built in a day. We can all take a stand and do our part to solve this problem. This is through different ways some complex, like finding other alternatives to energy, and some simple, such as planting a tree and recycling your waste. But to do this, we must realize that Earth is ours and we must do something to protect it. <laughs>